Inc. Serp 5 is, is what it's advertised as, but it's a Sur Series Mini PC. So we're just going to do a little unboxing and uh, see what happens. This cute little package here, and this comes up. So, looks like we have, well, that's a big old box of accessories. That's the whole side of it. And right, we'll mess with that later. Here's the user manual. Looks like it's all in different languages. So, basic operation. Looks like it's how it works a little bit. Connection steps. How to install your SSD, RAM, all that fun stuff. Now it's in a different language, so it looks like it's just all different languages, okay? And looks like here she is. So, you can see these are always weird to get off. Oh, this one's actually decent. Oh, man. Oh. So here she is. Looks like we have our two USB 3s and then our USB C that does data, power, and display. That's the third monitor. Here's a CMOS uh, and there's headphones. Feels pretty good. Feels. It's plastic for sure, but I don't mind it. It's not bad. So then. One gigabit LAN, that's a USB 2.0, I think that's a 3.0, or these are 3.1s, I think. And that's a display port and an HDMI. And there's the uh, display in, of course. So, uh, that's tiny, super tiny. Oh, it even gives you a little instructions. Delete for BIOS and press F7 for boot options. And I've done that before. So I've actually gotten a uh, trig key, same exact thing. I'm pretty sure it's almost the same board. The only difference was it had two HDMI ports instead of a display port and an HDMI. So that's different, I guess, but um, let's see. So we have all this. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh yeah, let's look at the accessories. What do we got here? So we have, we don't know that already. Looks like, so this is our base amount. Pretty sure there's probably a bag of screws. There's our screws. So that's cool. Set that to the side. This is a small HDMI cable, and this is an incredibly small HDMI cable, and half the power cord, and the other part of the adapter. Let's see if I can pull this out real quick. So if you're looking at this, let me see if I can get the tiny numbers. It's hard to see that puppy. Uh, 19 volts. That's what she is. 3.42 amps. So if you can, whoa, whoa, hit my stand there a little bit. So if you need to see that for any reason or any of the zillions of certifications, there you go. Okay. So now, why don't we, so we can just take this puppy apart real quick. So the trig key one was really similar. So it's just four screws right here, and that's pretty simple. <laughs> Our handy little tab to pull this off. Oh, that's not coming. There we go. Whew. Set that to the side, okay. And then, looks like this is where you just stick the SSD card, or not the card, the your hard drive. Kind of like a 2.5 inch one, you just slip it in there. I'm trying to see if there's any screws or anything now. So with this one, there are, there's one screw here, one screw here, and one screw here, and then there's these two you need to take off too. So we'll take those off real quick. This is just a tiny little cover. This is that thing itself. So then this puppy comes off. There we go. And it does have a little plug right here to watch out for. Come on, little fella.
There we go. So now that just lifts off. And ignore this, but there's our NVMe drive. And here's our two sticks of RAM. So it looks like these are no name RAM modules. I'm not seeing like a brand name that I can recognize. AZW is the manufacturer of the motherboard, but that's it. And as for the, the NVMe, the only thing it says is Fison. P-H-I-S-O-N is the brand name, which I have never heard of before. So it looks like we have a no brand name or no name NVMe SSD in there and then no name RAM chips. So how that handles, I don't know. But honestly, disassembling that was pretty easy and uh, not too hard. So overall, it seems like it's pretty decent quality. I'll give it that. So one thing I wanted to show you real quick, I just upgraded the RAM. So this had two eight gig chips in there and I put two 16 gig chips. Reason why is uh, at least with these computers that I've messed with, I haven't turned this on yet, but I'm willing to bet that it doesn't actually have 32 gig or like 31.8 or something like that. Typically what I've seen in these boards is you lose about 10% of your RAM, if not more, as it's being borrowed from BIOS or BIOS, or it's being used from the video card. There's not really a video card in here, but like the video GPU capabilities that are in here, it will actually borrow a little bit from the RAM in order to do it. So when I turn this on, I fully expect it to be like only 29 gigs of RAM, maybe 28 gigs of RAM. And we'll see if I can show you that a little bit later, but uh, I, I like these better. I've messed with Mini's forums. I did a NAB5, which was a Intel processor that output four displays. Uh, that was cool. It just, the GPU capabilities wasn't awesome, but it didn't have the same RAM issue that this had. And the trig key one that I had that had the same AMD 5800H processor had this, a problem, not a problem, but it just allocated more RAM towards other things than just actually being RAM. So, uh, so replacing the RAM is super easy. There's these little pins off to the side. You just move them and that flips up, take it out. You do the same with that one, but you put it in at an angle. There it's at an angle and you just push down. Oh, and now it's stuck there. That's all it is to it, installing RAM. Removing your drive, there's a, a screw here. You just take that up and it does something similar. It flips up, you just take it out. You just put it in at an angle, push down, put the screw in and your NVMe drive is good to go. So hopefully that, uh, that makes sense to you guys and was helpful and stuff. Well, I actually have an NVMe drive. I'll show you guys how to take this one out and put the other one in. So, uh, so this little guy should, oh man, so there's that. See how it popped up like that? So, take it out oh so gently. And I have a crucial 512 that I'm gonna be putting in here. There's the Wi-Fi chip if you were ever so inclined to change that out. We'll slip it in there. And then just push it down. And that is how you change out the NVMe drive. That holds her in tight. So then just assembling it is the same process as disassembling, just in reverse order. So I figured I'd include this in here. I thought it was funny. Uh, everything looks fine. It just looks like, like a no name, but then if you flip it around, P3 plus, so right here, it says it's a gen four and then times four, so 3.3, 2.5, but it's crucial. So I just replaced it with a crucial hard drive because I didn't know that this was a crucial hard drive. And the other interesting thing, so here's our no name RAM chips. They're crucial too. So that's at least decent quality. I can give it that, so that's pretty cool. I still have to replace this because these are only eight gig chips and I needed 16.